Hello, my name is Berakat and I'm part of the Computational Interaction Research Group at the University of Luxembourg. This work is done in collaboration with Luis Leiva, titled The Elements of Visual Arts Recommendation, Learning Light and Semantic Representations of Paintings. So the, in this work, we tackled the problem of personalized visual arts recommendation. So the task of personalized recommendation in this context is essentially given a user's preference or a painting that the user liked, the task is to find most similar paintings that are matching semantically to the preferred ones. This essentially means finding a model that can effectively represent the paintings in high dimensional space, meaning capturing a hidden semantic relationships between these paintings so that we can find some kind of similarity metrics from which we can generate a ranked list of recommendations. In literature, earlier works in visual arts recommendation leveraged manually created metadata in order to drive recommendations, such as the authors, history, style, the materials that the paintings are done on, and also the size and different kinds of uh, manually created metadata in order to drive recommendations. For instance, if the visitors are interested about paintings that are done by uh, Da Vinci, so finding all the paintings that are done by Da Vinci and giving a set of recommendations. So most recent approaches in visual art recommendation also try to leverage neural networks, particularly convolutional neural networks, to learn visual features from paintings in order to match similar paintings and give recommendations. However, these approaches are, uh, uh, are, are good at capturing visual similarity. However, the semantics behind the paintings is often failed to be captured. And the recommendations are that they don't have semantically uh, coherent representation or meaning uh, explanations cannot be given about the similarities apart from the visual features that are learned from the paintings using the CNN architectures. In general, generating recommendations for visual art is specifically challenging because it requires capturing the complex concepts that are embedded within the visual arts. For instance, capturing the emotional and cognitive reflections which are often unique and subjective to each users as they interact with these kinds of visual content. So overall, generating this kind of recommendations requires understanding how users interact with such kinds of highly subjective content which makes it really difficult. So the underlying question here in this work we're trying to address is how can machine learn these kinds of complex semantics that are embedded in visual arts? Um, what are the elements particularly? So what are the key explanatory factors that uh, capture these kinds of semantics in which are embedded in visual arts? If so, then from which modalities can we learn? From images or from textual uh, features? And how can we find these kinds of efficient architectures that capture this information? So in this work, we explored visual arts collection from the National Gallery of London, particularly around 2,368 paintings dating from the mid 13th century to the 1900 were uh, explored in our work. So this is a sample data point from uh, our data set. So we have an actual image of the paintings and uh, metadata information as well as semantically rich textual description of the paintings. So particularly, we explored three different architectures, two of which are topic modeling techniques. These are well known. The first approach here is uh, latent drift data location. And the second one is uh, sentence birth or bidirectional encoder decoder architecture. Both are topic modeling techniques from which we can actually generate the similarity metrics, as well as on the third row, we can see that we have explored also a ResNet 50, which is um, a visual feature learning technique. So the underlying assumption here is by leveraging textual as well as visual features, we can generate different kinds of representation spaces from which we can generate three different kinds of recommendation uh, outputs. So the core idea is learning these kinds of semantic representations, meaning similar paintings will have a similar representation that is close to each other in this representation space from which we can actually learn a similarity metrics. So particularly using these three techniques, uh, we try to generate uh, different kinds of recommendation engines and study their performance on uh, giving a rec personalized recommendation to users. So the first three engines are unimodal, meaning uh, leveraging uh, single modality, for example, BERT and LDA, 
are from text as well as resonate is from uh, images. And we also try to uh, explore how can we combine these uh, features. So we proposed a combination approach which is leveraging reciprocal rank fusion, combining resonate with birth and also LDA uh, with resonate. So we can see that uh, we have also uh, explored three different combinations of these two uh, approaches. So particularly the reciprocal rank fusion allows us to control the contribution of each modality. So for instance, we use 25% from Resonate and 75% from BERT, 50-50 as well as 75-25. So in total, this gives us nine different kinds of recommendation engines. So we studied the performance on the quality of recommendations based on uh, these engines so that we developed a web application to do that. So here uh, is a screenshot of our web-based application. And to assess the quality of recommendations generated by these engines, we used a user-centric evaluation metrics. So what are the key takeaways from these kinds of uh, analysis? So the first interesting takeaway we saw is that visual similarity does not always necessarily entail semantic relatedness. So for instance, this is a target painting, and this is a most similar painting according to uh, LDA or our topic modeling architecture. So if we take a closer look at the topic distribution of these paintings, they have pretty similar topic distribution. And if we take a closer look at the most prominent topic, we can see that this is more of a religious painting context, both of them. However, uh, let's take a look at each of these different uh, modalities. So the first, the second uh, recommendation engine, which is BERT, also generates a good visually similar recommendation. And we can also see that the topics are uh, more or less aligned with each other. However, let's take a look at the last column, which is uh, a recommendation generated by our Resonate engine. So if we take a closer look at the paintings, these paintings uh, are visually similar. However, the semantics, um, according to the documentation, the first painting is Time Ordering Old Age to Destroy Beauty by Pantoni from the 18th century, whereas the second one is Donor, uh, the Donor and St. Mary Magdalene by um, Martin from the 16th century. So the interesting aspect of these two paintings uh, is that in the first one we can see that the winged figure represents time and the older lady represents old age and the lady on the left side depicts beauty. So the documentation states that Bantoni intends to encourage uh, considering the brevity of yours and the inevitable passing of time. So whereas the second painting, the most similar according to Resonate, depicts Mary Magdalene and the precious ointment she is holding on her hand. This is from a story from the Bible. So this is more of a religious context and actually this painting is found on a, an altarpiece of a church. So if there is a user interested in the first painting, recommending the donor might not necessarily be a um, satisfying experience for the user. So there is clearly a semantic gap from uh, visual features. So what is <clears throat> the takeaway from this is that semantic relatedness does not necessarily um, entail visual similarity. So overall, our analysis uh, uh, shown has shown that uh, recommendation engines generated by the combination or the fusion of the two modalities found to be more uh, superior than single modalities. And user studies also uh, have shown that um, different modalities have shown ha have different uh, levels of exposition to towards uncovering latent semantic representations. So uh, in summary, we have developed three different architectures, text-based, image-based, and fusion-based approaches in order to learn hidden semantic representations of paintings so that we can generate personalized recommendation to visitors. So uh, please feel free to check out our paper and also uh, reach out if you have questions. So thank you.